make easy. This is the fifth video of QBasic string pattern printing. In this specific video, I will explain you about how to print the pattern like this in very simplest way. In my previous four videos, I will explain you about everything about the pattern printing related to the string. So you can watch those videos. Now, in this pattern, we have one, two, three, four, five asterisk or star, you can say. Asterisk is here. Next time only four, next time only three, next time only two, next time only one. Now you can see we are getting this asterisk from left hand side. In every pattern or sub string, we have this left hand side asterisk. So by looking at this, you can say we can use left dollar function. Now here also, next one, we have this one asterisk at <coughs> left hand side because this is the string and this is the first character of the string which is available at left hand side and this is the right hand side so every time you can see asterisk is available at left hand side so what we can do is we can use left dollar function in simplest way same program we can do using mid dollar also but we are doing using left dollar for now so from left hand side how many characters we want first time we want one two three four five so cls a dollar equals to asterisk asterisk five times inside the double quotation because this is a string now we want to print five characters from left hand side first time without using for loop i'm explaining here then i will use for loop okay follow the same pattern same way to print the patterns it will be very easy for you okay print left dollar a dollar comma five from left hand side using left dollar means from left hand side of the string how many characters five characters so one two three four five characters so five asterisk will be printed first line now next one we want only four characters from left hand side one two three four so what we'll write is left dollar a dollar comma four and next we are printing only three characters so left dollar a dollar comma three then after that two characters so a dollar comma two and then last only one character from left hand side so a dollar comma one so this is done without for loop now you can see the numbers 5 4 3 2 1 so for this what we're gonna use is for loop in the for loop we'll start from 5 and up to we'll go 1 and in the place of this number 5 4 3 2 1 i will keep here loop variable and it will be done in the next one also you can see let me write code for first program okay cls and then i will write here a dollar equals to one two three okay sorry one two three four five okay now i will use here for loop for i equals to let me show you here for i equals to five four three two one means up starting from five okay okay starting from five up to one and this is in descending order so i will write it step minus one every time value of i will be decreased by one so five four three two one in descending order you have to use step minus one because after five we want four okay then what we'll write here is print and then i'm using left dollar left dollar a dollar comma i because i value will be five first time and then i value will be four next time and this in this way it will work so let me run the program i value will be five and then it will go here next time next time means step minus one i value will be four then it will print four characters next time four minus one will be three and three minus one will be two and two minus one will be one so it will print in this this way and this print statement will execute five times because we are using for loop from five to one five four three to one look same pattern is printed first time i value will be five and then print left dollar a dollar means from this string how many characters i value is five so five characters so all five characters will be printed next time means decrease the value of i by one because we have written here step minus one so i value will be four and after this it will go to the for loop i value will be four and then it will print left dollar a dollar comma four from left hand side four characters one two three four and the next time i value will be three and it will print in this way now let's see the next pattern printing here you can see 
first time only one character we want from left hand side so left dollar a dollar comma one next time two characters from left hand side so left dollar a dollar comma two next time three so three four five so the number is from starting from one up to five so nothing will be changed just we'll change this line not five to one now this time one two five and this is in ascending order not in descending order so no need to write step one like we have written before step minus one so it will print the pattern one one two one two three one two three four one two three four five so in this way it works if you want to write a step so you can write step one because this is ascending order so first time one then second time two so you can write step one but it's not compulsory by default value will be incremented by one so this is printing the same pattern and if you want to know use of tab function so i will write it here tab of i it will give just a space this is not required here but i am just showing you it will give the space specified space tab of i first time before printing one space and then two space three space like this in this way it can work hope you understand this video so every time whenever you are writing pattern printing program just write in this format so you will know which variable is used how many time it is used and it will help you to write the code thank you for watching if you understand this video please click on the like button click the subscribe button and comment below if you have any questions related to pattern printing i'll make a video on that have a great day mm -hmm.